We are going to go through how to make a grignard directly from elemental magnesium turnings. We will need a magnetic stirrer, a condenser, a 50ml round bottom flask with a magnetic stir bar, a heating block, three rubber super seals, magnesium turnings, solvent, which can be either THF or diethyl ether, your substrate, a vacuum line, a balloon filled with nitrogen gas, an ice bath. In an ideal scenario, you want your magnesium to be as activated as possible so that it will insert into that carbon halide bond to make your grignard. If it's possible, you should put the turnings that you want to use in an oven overnight beforehand and then take them out. So here are my magnesium turnings from the oven. We will add the pre-weighed amount to our multi-net round bottom flask containing a stir bar. It is possible to do these reactions in a single net flask, but it is better to do them in a multi-net flask. This way you can keep your condenser attached whilst adding in your reagents. Next, we are going to attach our condenser to the top of our multi-necked flask. Always ensure that the condenser is attached to the flask when setting up a grignard. This reaction is exothermic and it is a possibility with the grignard that you could get an uncontrollable exotherm. So we want to be as safe as possible by ensuring there is a condenser there that has a lot of headspace in case that does happen. Bearing the exotherm in mind, we have an ice bath on hand to cool the reaction if required. Now we will evacuate the air from the flask by attaching a vacuum line to the flask. We will then use our nitrogen balloon to create the nitrogen atmosphere. Remember, it is important not to be stirring the magnesium turnings under nitrogen. We will now take our solvent, in this case, diethyl ether. You can also use THF. The boiling point is lower for diethyl ether, so it's easier to activate than THF. However, sometimes your grignard will not be as soluble in ether as it would be in THF. Sometimes there's a bit of trial and error. We will now add solvent slowly to one of the necks of the flask. As you can see, we are adding in the bare minimum of solvent so that the magnesium turnings are just covered. There are now lots of ways to activate your grignard. The simplest and most straightforward way is by adding a small amount of heat. You have to do it carefully so that we don't get an uncontrollable exotherm. We can use a heat gun to gently heat. This is probably the most common way to heat as the reaction temperature can be controlled. You can now see the formation of tiny bubbles around the surface of the magnesium turnings. As soon as you start to see tiny bubbles, stop heating. Next, you add in your substrate via a needle and syringe. Add the substrate and solvent in portions to maintain temperature of the mixture and prevent an excessive exotherm. In this example, we continue heating during addition to maintain temperature. If no heat is evident, the reaction may need an activator. An activator can be iodine, either in drop or pellet form, or ethyl bromide. Iodine is more reactive than the bromide on our substrate, so this will insert first. Then you will get a transmetallation taking place for the Grignard formation. If you want to add an activator to the reaction, make sure this has been added before the addition of most of your substrate, otherwise you will lose most of your substrate. The reaction can now be stirred. Effervescence is now witnessed from the reaction. Now we have added everything, we will leave it stirring for about 10 minutes to ensure no extreme exotherm happens. After this time, we will add a heating block underneath the flask so we can heat the reaction up to reflux. Do not leave the reaction to reflux overnight. 
You should only need to heat the reaction for a couple of hours. The reaction can be monitored by titration to see if the product has been formed. Once you are happy you have reached a successful concentration of your grignard or your reaction has been heating for 5 hours, the reaction can now be stopped. We want to keep everything under nitrogen as the grignard is air sensitive. The best way to do this is to use a double ended filter funnel. We can connect nitrogen to the top and then connect both funnels and tilt the reaction. This will separate the magnesium turnings from our grignard in solution. However, if this is not available, we can also use a cannula. We can insert a cannula in one end of the reaction flask with the other end having a nitrogen balloon. We can use the flow of nitrogen to take up the grignard into the cannula. This will leave residual magnesium turnings. Yields may be reduced by this method, however it is still safe and it will protect the newly synthesised grignard from air. We can now use our grignard in future synthetic steps. In this short video, we have set up, carried out and synthesised our grignard.